Right now at 5.30, a Davy man is behind bars charged with murdering his college roommate over the weekend. Police say the victim had been stabbed repeatedly. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. And today we're learning more about what led up to that deadly confrontation between those two men. Local 10's Derek Shore spoke to the victim's mother. He is live with the latest. And Victor and Janine, the victim's mother says these two students didn't really know each other for very long, only a few months because the school put them together as roommates. Now, this incident happened here at this apartment complex in Davie, which also apparently serves as student housing for the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. He did no wrong and all he wanted to do was go to sleep so he could go to his job so that he can go to his job on Sunday morning. Tracy Washington beside herself with grief. Her son, 20 year old Alex Trotman, killed in his own student housing complex, allegedly at the hands of his own roommate, 21 year old Jamari Toombs. He doesn't deserve to be among regular people. Apparently something was wrong with him. Council, I'll start with uh, Jamari Toombs. Tombs appearing in front of a judge today on a charge of premeditated murder. Davy police say it was Sunday. Alex was discovered in a pool of blood near a second floor stairwell at these apartments in Davy, which also serve as student housing for the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale, where they both attended. The argument apparently over noise. It's my understanding that he asked him several times to stop making noise in the house and that the guy seemed to be on something and he was out screaming and yelling. Alex, a former Miramar High School football standout, would walk out into the living room to once again quiet his roommate. They fell to the ground and that's when he reached up and stabbed my son in the neck. The young culinary school student would die at the hospital. He was everybody's baby. This is the greatest loss I ever experienced in my life. And the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale also issued a statement offering their condolences to the family and saying that the campus is grieving. Meanwhile, Toombs remains behind bars, no bail or bond, and it's unclear if he was on any substance when this incident took place. If you'd like to help Alex's family with their final expenses, you can go to our website at local10.com. We're live in Davie, Derek Shore, Local 10 News.